So what's up people and welcome to the Mission 66 discussion of Spy Family. So Mission 66 came out yesterday and as always I will leave a link to this mission that's currently being shown on the publisher's official website Manga Plus for free to the North American audience so if you're interested yeah I will go take a look at it before they pull this mission back. Now one thing I have to say these past few weeks have been really really wonderful in terms of the quality of chapters that have come out in many of the different mangas that I follow. And so over the past few weeks we have had a wonderful chapter from Zatch Bell that continues to open up that new sequel. We have received a wonderful chapter from Chojin X which gives another twist that's very very interesting and somewhat worrisome. We have received an interesting chapter from Battle Angel Alita Mars Chronicle that really makes you go, oh now I get it, and at the same time, oh my gosh sort of statement. And as for One Piece, <laughs> oh wow. Some of the reveals that are coming out are absolutely amazing and continue to show that we are really coming to the climax of this entire series. But as much as I enjoyed One Piece and thought that that was a wonderful chapter to read on Sunday and nothing could possibly beat it, then I came to Mission 66 for Spy Family and oh wow! This is probably the most impactful mission that I have read probably over this entire series. This mission has opened up so much with regards to Operation Strix and the entire story and much of it is not lighthearted. It's quite concerning but it does open up this entire story to the next level. As I mentioned back when we were doing the Ocean Cruise arc when that arc closed, it almost felt like the very first part of Spy Family closed. The entire family was now together. The readers were very much understanding what each one of these characters were. And we were ready to go on to the next part of the story. Then we got some very interesting chapters after that including Lloyd's backstory and some very lighthearted chapters. But ever since chapter 65 where there was a huge reveal at the end of the chapter when we found out that the lady who befriended Yor was Melinda Desmond, the wife of Donovan Desmond, the target of Operation Strix, that single scene completely flipped this entire part of the story. And so chapter 66 opens up where Yor is actually talking with Lloyd and explaining that she had met with Damien's mother during the day and had become friends with her. And it's at this time that we get some very interesting comical dialogue and it is very much Lloyd versus Yor sort of thing in their characteristic. Yor is definitely completely clueless in terms of a lot of things in life that people would think is common knowledge. And so she had no idea who Donovan Desmond was and only thought of Melinda as Damien's mother. And it is only after the discussion with Lloyd that she realizes just how important a person Melinda was. And we find out something that's very interesting. Although we always knew that Donovan Desmond was a very important character, we weren't really sure exactly what his position was. And it turns out that he was the former Prime Minister of Ostania according to Lloyd. And since he says former, he is no longer in that role. And from what we can tell, he is a leader of another party. And considering that he is no longer the Prime Minister, I would think that he may be the leader of the opposition party for Ostania. But in any case, he is a very important person. He is the target for Operation Strix. And so Lloyd becomes extremely interested in this happening. And this gives the chance to, of course, go back to that meeting where Melinda starts discussing why she knows the name Forger. 
And of course, it turns out that it is exactly the situation that Anya had with Damien. Basically, that punch in the face. <laughs> and of course, that makes Yor apologize profusely to Melinda for that situation. And here's where we get some very interesting characteristic traits of Melinda. I don't know about any of you who have read this chapter, but I find Melinda somewhat endearing because she does mention to Yor, oh, don't worry about it, kids will be kids sort of situation. And she is okay with what happened between Anya and Damien. But I also find her somewhat terrifying when Yor continued to insist to apologize and she responds with this. <laughs> Which makes you wonder what sort of personality she has. Now, if you recall, Donovan Desmond was also a very strange personality, somewhat similar to Melinda when he talked with Lloyd. And so are they very similar personalities? Do they have a bipolar tendency? I'm not exactly sure. But there is something extremely uneasy about Melinda. And this may turn out to be a potential threat to Yor if she continues to be friends with her. Now, we find out through Lloyd's thoughts that Melinda is currently in a strange relationship with Donovan and Damien. And so it's a little bit hard to determine how useful it will be to get to Donovan Desmond through Melinda. And of course, that creates yet another complication to this entire situation. And once more, what really, really made me worry was when they start talking about Anya, and Yor starts mentioning how Anya likes Damien and talks about him quite a bit. And the response back from Melinda is very unusual. And it makes you worried for Yor if you did not realize that Yor is probably one of the strongest characters in this entire comic and most likely can destroy any agent, officer, or assassin that Astania may sick on her. And so I'm not particularly worried about Yor with the exception of her extreme naivety that may get her in trouble. But once again, nobody realizes just how powerful Yor is with the exception of Anya. And because of that, if they do decide to take her, I think they're going to be in for a very rude awakening. But of course, while this discussion is going on, we do realize that Lloyd is becoming somewhat defensive again because he's not exactly sure whether this meeting was coincidental or not. And of course, the obvious one is Melinda knew of Yor and wanted to get closer to her and created this situation right from the start. But the other which we find out Lloyd is still considering is that there is something untrustworthy with Yor and she had created this incident to have a reason to get together with Melinda. Is Yor potentially communicating to Ostania and having befriended Melinda, this communication becomes easier? These sorts of thoughts come up in Lloyd's head. And of course, this then creates a potential tension between Lloyd and Yor. And Yor, of course, being oblivious to this entire thing, only worries about whether her friendship with Melinda will be okay with Lloyd. And so she asks Lloyd, knowing that potentially the relationship can take her away from some of her parental duties, and she also worries that the influence of these other people may potentially take her away from the normal. But Lloyd answers back that it is important for someone like Yor to not only be focused on the family, but be able to go out and experience many things. And through the experience, she will determine what normal is, and will be given much more understanding of how the world progresses. 
And so Lloyd says that it is okay for Yor to befriend Melinda. And in fact, he feels that it may be beneficial for her. Which is a very wholesome statement. And it's very much in line with many of the other wholesome conversations that Lloyd has had with Yor in the past. Whether it's in the manga or in the anime, you often see these extremely heartfelt discussions between these two. However, in this particular situation, that wholesomeness is overshadowed by his cunningness. Throughout this discussion, he is extremely worried that there may be something going on between Yor and Melinda. Because Yuri is a secret police of Astania, he has previously worried about whether there is an alternate identity for Yor. And I would have to admit, considering the fact that she is so freaking powerful and has obviously shown that to Lloyd, he would be an idiot to not notice that. And so this would justify his suspicion as well. But if he is suspicious, you know Lloyd is a smooth talker. The moment his defense mechanism kicks in, he starts saying things that are absolutely wholesome not because his heart feels that way, but because that is the way to get his objective done. And so did he say this as a wholesome remark like he did in the past? Or because he realizes this situation may be tense, is he now starting to smooth talk Yor to dig further into what's going on? It'll be interesting. Has this created a tension between these two? And will this tension potentially grow if it does exist? But on the other hand, <laughs> you see Lloyd is calculating various options. And although he feels that there may be a potential threat with this situation, he also feels that there is a possibility that this is a major, major opportunity. And that is because Operation Strix, in its original form, isn't going as well as we expected. If you recall, the whole reason why Lloyd got this family was so he could send the child to Eden College, that child could get closer to the Desmond family, and through that, Lloyd can infiltrate into that organization. However, in order to do so, Anya either has to become an imperial scholar by collecting a ton of stellar stars, or become really, really close to Scion Boy. And neither are going all that well, and so Lloyd starts thinking about Plan C. <laughs> and of course you see Anya looking up at that, and she completely freaks out. And now we get suspicion from Anya. But unlike suspicion from Lloyd, which can potentially cause tension, which the readers worry about, this is Anya that we're talking about. So her tension, of course, goes to the absolute absurdity. And now she feels that if Yor and Melinda become very close, that Operation Strix steers towards their relationship, then she might get left out. And so now this has created this weird <laughs> confrontation slash contest between Anya and Yor in who can become friends with the Desmond family first. And all of this comedy is going on, which brings this chapter from the tension to the lighthearted again. But only for a short time, because we find out that Yor does need to inform one other person to ensure that her friendship with Melinda is okay. And that person is the shopkeeper. And what we find out is the shopkeeper seems to be okay with it. There is no obvious reason for him why she shouldn't become friends with Melinda. However, there is that one caveat that he says, which is that if anything were to happen, well, then maybe he wouldn't recommend this friendship. Which basically means, if something goes off course, and something screws up that potentially may threaten Garden, then Garden 
will make sure to take care and correct that situation. And considering Garden's method of correction is assassination, what he's implying is if something happens to you, you're on your own, and not only are you on your own, if this eventually threatens Garden, no matter how good an asset you are right now, we will take care of this and take care of you. So this is somewhat a threat from my perspective when he says this. But what's more worrisome is when the shopkeeper mentions that, well, in any case, I'm not sure how well this will fare with your husband. Your answers that many chapters ago, Lloyd was able to meet with Donovan Desmond and their meeting went relatively positively. <laughs> that is when you see, probably for me, the most frightening scene of this entire chapter when the shopkeeper turns around and says, really now? And the implications behind that simple statement is so, so huge. At the minimum, you know that because one of his top field agents has just become married to a certain mystery person, the shopkeeper probably started investigating into the background of Lloyd. And considering that Wise is doing everything they can to make that background be really hard to find, they're probably wondering why this person is so mysterious if he is just a regular citizen. At least it seems like there is some curiosity, and if Lloyd stated something out of character to what his background intel said, then this would of course trigger something in the shopkeeper. But what's worse is maybe Garden has started understanding Lloyd and his true identity. And maybe they're letting them have a relationship because maybe there is something that benefits Garden. One thing we really don't know about this story so far is the objective of Garden. What is Garden? We do know that they are a assassination team. And so what does Garden want? And what is the shopkeeper's objective? Yes, there may be some warmth in the conversation that he does, but make no mistake, there is an agenda to everything that he does. And whatever happened right now seems to have stirred his interest. Whatever the case, it seems like this chapter has brought many factions closer to each other. And this closing is not completely all for the good either. There is some situations of threat and worry that comes up with these factions closing in on each other. So it'll be interesting to see what goes on. Now, <laughs> luckily, with all this tension going on, this is still Spy Family, so Tatsuya Endo ends it with a smile because we go back to Anya, and Anya is still continuing to try to figure out what plan she can do to win that competition between her and Yor. <laughs> and so she immediately goes to ask Becky for advice, and Becky gives the most outlandish advice, which I couldn't make any sense of, but it results in a situation that involves Anya, a ramen burger, and her athletic skills. <laughs> yes, a ramen burger. And so if you want to know exactly what Becky's plan was, then I would suggest that you go read this chapter. But it was typical spy family ending in total absurdity. So this chapter was very, very entertaining. There was very little action in it, but my gosh, it opened up many, many questions. And we are starting to see this story seriously focus into Operation Strix. And so I would assume that 67, 68, and 69 will continue this pattern, and we will be seeing a lot more story and development from future chapters coming down the line. And once Mission 67 comes out, I will bring out another video and hope you join me at that time. 
But thank you very much for watching this video. This has been the chapter 66 discussion of Spy Family. If you read it, what do you think about it? Any comments that you can leave, I would appreciate. And until the next episode, happy manga reading, and as always, giant nice day everyone.